Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we'll take a look at how to SSH to Azure VMs with your AAD identity using Easy SSH. Full disclosure, I am part of the team that created Easy SSH, but I would not have been part of it if I didn't believe it was a great tool. So first, let's get started with the basics. You can get Easy SSH in two ways. You can go to portal.easyssh.io slash sign on and do it through here and you're not required to enter a credit card after the month free trial if you like it you would come back and add your credit card or you can create it in the azure portal you just go to the azure portal to the marketplace search for easy ssh and you can buy it straight from the azure portal using your subscription once you have your subscription set up you just have to create an azure policy so in here we already have one uh, but if you would want to create one you just go here you would enter the policy name that you would want like azure east or this subscription you enter a notification email this notification email you will get notifications every time someone changes something or any anything happens and then we offer a scope type to cover your whole subscription or a single resource group so in this case we would do subscription you select the subscription and then you would add all the stuff i'm gonna go through the created one just so it's easier so i don't have to be typing so here you can see my azure east subscription the owners is basically who can manage this subscription in our easy ssh portal so in here i have me and andrew and also anybody that is an owner or a contributor in the azure subscription we actually make them automatic owners in here because if you can delete and create resources in azure you should be able to do it in easy ssh as well so then it's the policy endpoints it actually goes ahead and scans your subscription for endpoints every few minutes so if you create a new one it'll automatically add them if you have automatically add the principles to the subscription what this means is that Anytime we detect a new VM, we'll run a VM extension. So we're actually not going into the server or anything and adding a script that will basically trust the CA that you're using because in the back end, easy SSH uses SSH certificates. So we're just adding the CA and using the regular open SSH authentication. There is no secret sauce there. It's all open source. So if you select that, it'll do it. If not, you can do it manually. So if you have kind of like Pulumi scripts, or ARM templates or something, you can get the cloud init script for the distro you use, download it, and run this every time you're creating a new resource, and it'll automatically accept certificates created by Easy SSH. If you already have existing infrastructure, you can run this script that will basically just add the CA key as a trusted key. And this is great for our hybrid policies. If you have stuff outside Azure, you can use this as well to have one simple authentication method for all your endpoints. So then in here you add the Linux principles that you have in the machine or that you want to create in the machine. So in this case, you can see I have an engineer that is not sudo and then I have root, which is sudo. And then in each policy for each one of those principles, you can set kind of how long people have access here. So as you can see, people have access for as long as two hours, every two hours they would have to get a new certificate to re-authenticate. And then for our RBAC roles, anybody that is an owner in the subscription, I created it that they can go in. And then anybody in the good looking engineers group or Andrew can go in. Manually approved means that they would have to get approval every time they wanna go in. So this might be an extension of your team that maybe support that shouldn't have standing access, or maybe this is such critical workflow that you wanna have approval every time someone goes in. You can have that who, who are the approvers in this case i made anybody that is an owner the subscription is the approver and anybody that's a classic virtual machine contributor in the subscription has manually approved access which means they can request access but only if it's approved by an owner they'll get a certificate so once you have all this set up and you have added this to your test vms i actually added it through pulumi let me know if you want to see a video about how i did that down below also in the ketos repo there is the sample repo for, for adding this in Pulumi. So I'm going to link that down below. Make sure to check it out. All right. So now that this is all set up, we have to SSH into our endpoints. And this is what most users will see because this is set up only by the admin. And once the user joins the team and gets added to the subscription or anything, they would just have to download 
the application called Easy SSH that can do it through Chocolaty or it, it supports Mac, Windows. And we're going to start with a help command to see what options you have. So here you can see we have the explore and interactive option. That's one that we're going to use to kind of see what options we have. SSH, that's if you already kind of know what endpoint you're going to connect to. Batch SSH, that's if you have a CSV or like a bunch of machines you have to connect at once. You can just pass a CSV and Easy SSH will go and get certificates for each one of them. Even if they're in like some hybrid, some in Azure, it will go and get all of them. Git, that's for using it with GitHub. And then if you just want a certificate and you don't want to SSH into anything, you can also request just a certificate. So first we're going to do interactive Easy SSH I. And since we haven't logged in, it'll ask us to log in. I'm just going to log in with my SSO identity from AAD. And as you can see, now it's here and it's all there. So we have different options in here. We're just going to use the save all available endpoints as a CSV because this for some reason, every time I do it, I still get a smile on my face of how cool this feature is. So it saved all the endpoints into a CSV file. And we can either do it through interactive or go back and do just a batch SSH. We're just going to do it in interactive. We're going to press five to connect to all of them at once. We're going to enter the file path of where the CSV is. And they will go in in the background. It's going and getting the certificates for all four of the endpoints and connecting you to all of them. Now you can see in less than a minute, we were able to connect to all these endpoints. Didn't matter if didn't have to go and get the administrator to add my SSH key or anything. It was immediate. As soon as I joined the team, I'm added to either the AAD group or I'm added to the subscription. I can even pin into the subscription. And now I have access to all the VMs in it. And if I want to do just regular SSH, I can just exit this. So I could do it also in interactive, but like, let's say you already know the endpoint you want to connect. So you would just do easy SSH, SSH and dash, dash E for the endpoint. And if you have a specific port or you want to use, or if you, your organization uses Azure networking JIT that you have to open the port or anything, you just have to do dash P and enter the port or dash J for Azure networking JIT. So we're just going to go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, it just went, got the certificate in the back end, and it's all using the token that we got from our SSO session in the browser. And you can add conditional access or anything else you might want to your VMs. And as you see, the access is limited to the two hours that we set in the policy. So after two hours, I would have to request access again. So that's how you add AAD authentication into your Azure VMs. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.